Devin, I know you're all about winning, but you had that the huge night, 42 points. How are you even rationalizing having the big night, but you guys not being able to finish the game and come home? It doesn't out? matter at all. You know, I said that after last game too, um, when I struggled shooting it. Um, the main objective is to win the game. So anything that goes on throughout the game, it you know, it, it doesn't matter for real. Quick follow, you guys were up seven, and I know it's when you were sitting. What did you see that got them back in it? Was it more of what you guys didn't do or what they did? Um, I mean, that, that's a tough question, but, you know, I'd say a little bit of both. Um, I think 17 offensive rebounds, 17 turnovers. Um, you know, so that that's on us as a team. Terry was saying the first row, go back, go to Rachel. Book, what was it like on the sideline when you were carrying those five fouls and you were waiting and waiting to go back in? Um, it's tough, but you know, I think we, you know, the group that was out there was was holding it down, um, defending at a high level. It's just, you know, we we have to close possessions, and you know, that's obviously something that, you know, hurt us tonight. So, yeah. Okay, we go to Kellen Olson, second row. Hey, Book, uh, points off turnover, second chance points. You guys have been so good there all year, and then these last two games, they've been they've been killers. How do you guys just get back to what's been working there? Um, I mean, just be physical. Be physical early um, on both sides. I think I picked up my fifth foul being aggressive, trying to box out BJ. They're coming at full speed, and, 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 and we know that, and we understand that. Okay, we'll go to Zenith, second row, right seat. Book, um, Monty mentioned that he, he saw over here. Yeah, yeah we, we, that he saw in shoot around this morning that you just kind of had this this pop in your step. And so I'm just curious what the last two days had been like coming off of, of game three. And did you kind of feel similarly this this morning that like, okay, I've got my legs under me. This this could be a good night for me. Yeah, just resting our bodies, getting treatment, um, and just getting ready for, for the game that was tonight. And you know, that's the same routine we're going to do going into game five. We go to Mark Medina, second row, middle seat. Chris and Devin, what do you guys think it counted over all four of the 17 turnovers? It was me. I had five of them. You know what I mean? Bad decision making. Um, timely, we down two, and I try to cross over right there, slip, turn it over. That's some bad passing in the first half. You know what I mean? They, they got. You know, a significant amount uh, more shots than us. And so, you know, for me, I got to take care of the ball. We, we got 17 turnovers. We shoot the ball too well not to have those opportunities to score. Okay, we go to Zoom for two questions. We're going to go to David Aldridge with The Athletic, followed by Cameron Cox. Uh, for, for both guys, um, are, are adjustments overrated when you get to game four of the finals? Is it just about execution? And, and executing better as opposed to anything that they did to take things away from you guys down the stretch? Um, I mean, at this point, both teams know each other. You know, you know the sets. They can call out our plays. We can call out our plays. It's about execution. You know what I mean? So down the stretch, um, you know, we got to box out. I, sh I got to box out. Um, we got to execute. You know, we're a team that's closed out games like that all season long. So. Um, this is a tough one, but we got to bounce back. That's why we fought all season to get home court. All right, we'll go to Cameron Cox with 12 News. Hey, Book, you know, Chris just mentioned it, um, but how frustrating is it not to be able to close this one out, especially when you guys had that lead in the fourth quarter? I mean, it's really tough whenever you can't, you know, win a game, especially at this point in the season. Any other questions for Chris or Devin? All right, go back to Dwayne, first row. Yeah, Chris, being in this situation, it's 2-2. Two -two. It's a, Obviously, it's a series, and then you got, got the home court. What do you want to see in the next 24, 48 hours from you guys to know that we're moving in the right direction going into game five? Um, you know, you can't just bank on the fact that you got home court. You got to go out there and play the game. You know what I'm saying? You got to go out there and execute. So um, we'll do that. We'll do that. We, we tend to respond well. Um, but it's easy. We know what we got to do. We know what we got to do. Um, be be better. All right, we go to Steve, third row, middle seat. 
for Devin. I'm just wondering, you were on such a roll for most of the night. You sit about five minutes during the fourth quarter with the fouls. When you got back, did you feel like you were in the same rhythm you were before, or did that throw you off at all, having to sit as much as you did during the fourth? Um, no, I was, I was still in the rhythm. Um, you know, it, it's a mindset more than anything. And, you know, we, I, I was still there, but, you know, that's besides the point, to be honest. All right. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Devin. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.